fridge and a load, everybody. It's just before 7 a.m. on January 11, 2022. I'm in New Hartford, New York, my hometown. Yesterday, the Susquehanna brought its train up to Campion Road in New Hartford to switch a night of warehouse, but it developed some engine problems. And the train sat here all day, and it's still here this morning. So it's down, but hopefully not out. So we're gonna walk the train. Thirty forty is a GP forty, built in the early nineteen seventies. it already it's two degrees below zero I believe they were going to head down to Sangerfield after switching a night of warehouse here in New Hartford yesterday but they of course got stuck here in New Hartford We're about four rail miles or so from the Susquehanna's Utica yard. This track was once operated by the New York, Ontario and Western, which went bankrupt in 1957, and the Delaware, Lackawanna and Western Railroad, a predecessor of the Susquehanna, bought these tracks from the bankruptcy estate in order to serve customers in New Hartford and Utica. And these boxcars contain paper products. And they're spotted in that warehouse over there. They have more than can be put in that building, which I think they can handle three. They just spot them along these tracks here. So we'll take another walk down. This again is along Campion Road. And I'm walking on a public sidewalk that is never shoveled out during the winter. told my dog smartly elected to stay back home during this morning's rail fanning extravaganza but I'll be seeing him in a few minutes to work 
on the engine to get it on the road again this morning. And I'm sure they'll be getting it going fairly soon. New Hartford, New York this morning. I'm going to go and thaw out.